guys welcome back to Kali J's kitchen in today's video I'll take you guys in the kitchen with me and I'll show you how to prepare this amazing summer recipe carrot cake don't forget to subscribe to my channel turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video go ahead and tell your friends tell your family members about Kali J's kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel follow me on instagram it's Kali kitchen underscore one and also on facebook it's Kali J's kitchen so in a bowl i'm gonna go in with the two eggs and guys you always want to remove the eye from the egg the eye is that white attachment to the yolk all right then i'm gonna go in with one cup of brown sugar you guys can always go ahead and use granulated sugar or you can just use half and half so half granulated and half brown sugar all right then I'm going to combine both the eggs and the brown sugar together nicely. And I'm also going to go in with some vegetable oil, alright? You guys don't necessarily have to use a vegetable oil. You can always go ahead and use melted butter, alright? Combine all of that nicely together before you add the vanilla flavoring. I also have some mixed spice, the liquid one at home, but I totally forget to pour some in there. But that is okay. If you guys have it at home, you guys can always go ahead and use it. All right. All of these ingredients that I'm using today, you can get them at your local supermarket or grocery store. Guys, remember to be creative in the kitchen. Remember to be you in the kitchen and just utilize whatever you have at home. All right. You always want to ensure that all of your ingredients are nicely combined together. All right. I also went ahead and combined all of the dry ingredients already. The flour, the salt, the baking powder, the baking soda, the nutmeg and my cinnamon powder. All right. And I combined it nicely together. As you can see, I went ahead and add the dry ingredients to the wet ingredients. And then I'm just going to do the cut and fold method. All right. Again, you don't want any raw flour. You always want to ensure that all of your flour is nicely combined in the wet ingredients. All right. So, hence the reason I'm going to do half and half just to make sure that it is the way I want it to be. So while I'm doing this, I went ahead already and preheat my oven at 250 degrees. And I'm going to bake this for roughly about 45 to 50 minutes, all right? You might also want to go ahead and add some water. If you don't want to add any water to your cake, you can always go ahead and use coconut milk instead of the water or you can just use some almond milk if you have almond milk at home all right guys remember guys to be creative in the kitchen again remember to be you and just utilize whatever you have at home all right just take a little time and do what you're doing all right i also went ahead already and shred up some of my carrots i am using about um five small baby carrots all right and i shred it up already all right so i'll show you guys what it looks like when i'm ready to add it to this cake mixture you guys can always go ahead and check the description box for all of the ingredients used in today's recipe and i'm sure you guys will love it and enjoy making this cake this summer for your family and your friends all right and i think this is an awesome um recipe this summer i mean your family will love it so now it's time to go ahead and add the shredded carrots Again, once you add the carrots, you always want to combine everything together nicely because you always want to ensure that all of your ingredients is nicely combined together or evenly distributed, all right? I also went ahead already and greased my Pyrex dish that I'm going to bake this awesome cake in with some of my palm cooking spray, all right?
all right guys so once the mixture comes together nicely then it's time to go ahead and just pour out the cake mixture in the pyrex dish and for me once i add the cake mixture to the pyrex dish i just like to go ahead and shake it up just to get rid of any bubbles in my cake that want to form in my cake all right as i said earlier i'm gonna bake this for 45 to 50 minutes all right sometime you might just need to give it some additional minutes all right so after 50 minutes what you can do you can just go ahead and just place a skewer in the middle of your cake if it comes out clean that's an indication that your cake is ready all right So this is it. This is my carrot cake looking all lovely and nice. So I'm just going to remove it. As you can see, it's a bit perfect. It burnt a little, but that is okay. All right. So we're just going to slice it up and show you guys the final product. This was really easy, really simple. And I hope you guys enjoy this recipe. All right, guys. So... We have come to the end of this awesome video. I hope you guys enjoy this awesome summer recipe. I hope you guys go ahead and try it out and let me, let me know what you think. Remember to subscribe to my channel and remember to turn on your post notification bell so you guys can always be notified whenever I upload a new video. Remember to tell your friends and tell your family members about Kali J's Kitchen and have them subscribe to my channel. Bye guys and see you tomorrow for another awesome recipe. Bye. Take care guys.